Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be permanently dry decking this block so that there will be no water in contact with the head gasket or the, the head to deck surface. But stick around and we'll show you how we're gonna do it. So I called my welder friend in. Hey, yeah, he's he's on his way. Good deal. But I think you'll do till he gets here. So. Yeah, I'll I'll call him. So this is the this is the new block that I'll be running this year. And um, last year we had some good success when we temporarily dry decked it with uh, epoxy. Well, we temporarily dry decked the old block with epoxy. Um, but this year, seeing how we have a clean slate, we're gonna, we're gonna permanently dry deck it. And uh, we've spent some time cleaning this block up pretty good, uh, making sure all of these water jacket holes are, are clean. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld little pieces of metal that we traced out. Um, yeah, little pieces just like that right there. We traced those out on a little piece of paper and took them to a friend of ours and uh, he cut them out on a CNC plasma cutter. And this is, this is kind of how they turned out. Just a bunch of little pieces that fit exactly in the water jacket hole. But we spent a lot of time cleaning those up and just getting all the slag off of them and getting all the junk out of this block. And now we are starting to tack those into place and this is kind of the gist of what, what it's gonna look like. We're gonna tack all these in place and then we're gonna heat this block up a little bit because it's cast and cast is not the easiest thing to weld. And we're gonna use a special welding rod. Muggy. Muggy welding rods. They're specifically for what we're doing to repair cast iron. Uh, we called them and they kind of gave us some pointers on what to do, but we're, they're, these are actually stick welding rods, but we took all the, what do you call that stuff, flux. flux. We took all the flux off of these rods and we're gonna use them as filler rod for TIG welding. So that's the plan. All right, so the welder finally showed up. Yeah, he's here, sure enough. Oliver. Are you a welder? <laughs> Maybe. <That's how> I <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a welder. Yeah. Okay, so we got all the little pieces tacked in and now it's time to weld them up. But the guys at Muggy, who we got the welding rods from, suggested seeing how this was cast to preheat it a good bit before we welded it up finally. So we're going to put a torch on it and kind of heat the block up and then, then weld it. Here we go.
Well, did the welder do a good job? Yeah, I believe so. It's all welded up. I don't feel like I did a good job. Oh, you weren't the welder. Oh. It was that little feller that was here earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they look all... All, all of a sudden, you just be going along, and then you just run into the beach. You know, just a bunch of sand. The sand? Yeah. And you'd be doing a good weld, and then just... I'm sure there's some YouTube welding experts that'll chime in and tell us what we did wrong. But or my aggravating cousin down in Florida. He'll probably have something to say about yeah, it. He probably will. But cast is difficult. Yeah. Cast is difficult. It does what it wants to do. It does what it wants to do. And it gives you little bits of metal and then it gives you little bits of sand and then that's about all you can do with it. Yep. But it's welded up. I believe it's sealed. And uh, I think this will keep water from getting on the track in the event that a head decides to lift up a little bit. We ain't, we ain't even gonna lift them though. No, we're not going to. But when this thing's making about three thousand horsepower, shoo wee! No, I'm just kidding. It's probably gonna make a thousand. I'm just gonna leave it there. So we can make the Christmas parade. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yep. But we'll. Um, I'm getting ready to take this to the machine shop down the road. We got a good friend down the road that has a, a machine shop, and uh, he is nice enough just to kind of let me come and do whatever I want to these engine blocks so we'll take it down there and deck it and get it smoothed up and then we got to bore it out and hone it and align hone it and a couple other things then we'll be ready to start assembling both of these things <laughs> So all the machine work is done and this is the this is the final result. Everything's sealed up and flat, so it should should work pretty good. And we pressure tested it up to like 50 psi and it it held pretty good. So I think we're ready to go.